Hello fellow Switchers, today I'm going to show you how you can use the capture button on your Nintendo Switch to record video of your gameplay. And I'm also going to show you the gameplay that I recorded and how you can just um, save the footage to a micro SD card and put it on your computer so that you can upload it to YouTube. Just a little bit of information before we get started. As of the time of making this video, the Nintendo Switch records 30 seconds of video gameplay at 720p and it only records certain games unfortunately. I tried with all of my games and the only one I could get it to work with was Breath of the Wild. Um, I'm assuming it's going to work on Mario Odyssey and any first party titles from Nintendo Switch. So that's something you're going to have to check first to see if the game that you want to record is compatible with this recording technique. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is insert the card into the Switch itself. So if you don't know this, basically on the back of the Switch there's a little kickstand and underneath the kickstand is where the port is for the micro SD card. So you slot that in, turn your console on, make sure that the console's off when you put the card in or when you take it out. Uh, otherwise it comes up with a warning and tells you that it's going to restart the console. So then once you've done that, all you need to do is format the card. So make sure that there's nothing on the card that you want to keep because you're going to completely wipe it clean and delete everything that's on it. And to format the card, all you need to do is go over to your system settings on the bottom of your main sort of dashboard on your console. Then you scroll all the way down to the bottom to the system, then scroll all the way down again to formatting options. Then in formatting options, go to format micro SD card. Once you've clicked on that, it will come up with a warning that basically tells you you are about to delete anything that's on this card. Please make sure you definitely want to delete it and wipe the card. Then when you click continue, it will just give you another warning and then it will format the card for you and make it completely blank so that you can use it on the switch. If you've already formatted your card and you've been using it on your Switch anyway, this shouldn't be a problem, you can skip this step. Now here comes the simple bit, all you need to do is open up your game, I've got Breath of the Wild open here, and play a little bit of gameplay, and then when you're ready to record the previous 30 seconds, you just hold down the um, capture button for about a second or two, and it will automatically come up on the left hand side of the screen, say it's saving the video. It does take a little while to save, but then once it's done, you can find it in your album on your dashboard. Now from here, you can watch your gameplay back if you like, but if you press the A button and then scroll across so that you can click on copy, then it will ask you if you want to copy it to your micro SD card, which you do obviously, so click OK, and it will instantly copy it over to the micro SD card, and then you can upload it to your computer. Now there's a very different ways you can do that. Um, you either have a micro SD slot in your computer or you've got a multi-card reader or the way I did it was I simply put the micro SD into an SD card converter and popped it into my computer. Once you've put it into your computer you just simply open up your card and then you go to Nintendo, click on the year that you recorded it and then click on the month and the day and then your video will be available. You can then upload your video to YouTube the way you would any other video. Uh, however, I will warn you that if you want to put your video into some editing software and cut the video before you upload it to YouTube, um, it depends what software you use. I used Final Cut Pro 7 and it told me that it wasn't allowed. There was some sort of warning. I tried to convert the video and it said that it didn't recognize the format, but that might just be because I'm using some older software. So yeah, be warned about that. The way I've managed to put the video up on here now is because I basically uploaded it to YouTube and then downloaded it back off YouTube. So the footage you're about to see isn't gonna be the full representation of the quality. It's probably 90% of the quality you get when you record with the Nintendo Switch. But without further ado, here is the footage I recorded. The Rook's protection is now ready to roll. Huh. 